Hey guys, Crystal here with Crystal's Crafties, and today I just wanted to show you a really, really quick video on how to um, arrange your cuts on a mat. Um, sometimes Cricut doesn't always give you the best use of vinyl or um, paper, whatever it is that you're cutting, so I wanted to show you how to arrange everything. Okay, so here I've got three different um, sized petals, and I need to make a lot of them. So I'm going to click make it up here in the right hand corner. And then I'm going to duplicate. Um, I need 16 of each of these. So I'm going to duplicate this to 16. I've just come up here and typed 16 in and I'm going to hit apply. And you'll notice it gave me four different mats here. Um, the cardstock that I'm using is 12 by 12. And I'd like to only use three sheets of cardstock, not four. So I need to rearrange these um, to get the, the most out of each piece of cardstock. So arranging on one mat is easy. You just click what you want and pull it, you know, wherever it is that you want it to go. Um, now to take something from another mat and move it, like if I wanted to come over here to this mat number two and move something to mat number one, that's also really simple. You just might not know about it. So I've clicked on my mat number two, and let's say I want to move um, this petal down here. I'm going to click it. Now come and click these three dots. Move to another mat. Select that, and you can pick which mat you want to move it to. I want to move it to mat one. There it is on mat one. Now to get these in here, I'm going to have to kind of play with them to make the most out of my paper. Okay, and I can probably put one or two more small petals up here. Let me see. Okay, get that guy. And if I turn this guy upside down, I can probably fit him on here too. Not completely. I'm going to have to do a little more finagling. There. Now I've moved some stuff onto this mat. I need to keep moving though. I need to get some stuff from this mat number four so that I can get it all together. But if you keep doing this process, I mean, I can take from mat number four, I can take this and move it to mat number two. And there it is, and I just put it over here. And you just keep doing this process until you have used efficiently the space on your cutting mat so that you can get rid of these extra mats down here that you don't really need. Alright, well that is all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Thanks.